I had a 33-year career in the Army. I served in combat very early on as a rifle platoon leader with the 101st Airborne that I can do the storm. Coming off active duty and moving to Nashville and becoming a police officer. Two careers that have things that mean more than just me. My dad is a Vietnam veteran. Him and his brother were drafted at the same time. But the Army has a sole survivor's policy, which means they didn't want to take book from the family. So he tells his brother, you go home, I'll be the one that stays. Like we were needed, we were there. When freedom called, we answered, we were there. So that applied to me. For him, and, uh, and what I attempted to do uh, in terms of uh, my own service. Anyway. My time as an infantry soldier was, to me, the one thing that connected my, my dad's service to mine. I was just absolutely privileged to have served the 101st Airborne Division. In 2019, I was getting ready to retire. I was buying the boat. I had a huge amount of help from the folks here at St. Augustine St. Lake. And, um, you know, working here gave me a little bit of opportunity to sort of, you know, help out with some of the things that needed to happen to the boat in order to get it ready to go. Give me the chance to be on the water and near the boat and doing things with people that know a whole lot more than I do about sailing and about how the boat works and all those things. trying to figure out what I wanted to name the boat. And, you know, I grew up in Puerto Rico, I, uh, so I, I thought of some character in Spanish literature that I could pull. Rendezvous with Destiny just sort of rang a bell. And, uh, I figured if that boat was going to take me anywhere, That was a good name for it.